What's up guys, it's the Horror Wombat, and guys, I'm really happy to say this because it looks like we're ending out spooky season with a bang. Because, as of just a few days ago, Terrifier 3, that's right, the low-budget independent Christmas horror movie, yeah, it's now the highest grossing unrated movie of all time. And I'm gonna be honest, that's a pretty big W for the horror genre. Now, if you came to this video expecting me to give my thoughts about the movie, well, you came to the wrong video. Because I've already made a separate video giving my thoughts about Terrifier 3. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave the link in the description. Not to boost any egos or anything, but it's a pretty good video in my opinion. But in regards to what happened recently, us horror fans are definitely ready to celebrate, because after wrapping up its third weekend at the box office, the gory masterpiece that is Terrifier 3 has now made 50 million dollars. That's f***ing crazy. That's the kind of money you'd see like a Halloween or Friday the 13th make at the box office. So how exactly did Terrifier 3 do so well? Well, it's for two reasons. One, its marketing strategy, and two, the fact that it got a wide release. When it came to the marketing strategy, I would say it was pretty bare bones. They showed a lot of audience reactions before the movie came out, and it wasn't really anything too special. I mean, we've seen plenty of horror movies do this stunt before. I honestly think it's kind of getting old at this point. So because of that, why exactly did I think the marketing strategy for this movie was a success? Well, my friends, it's because there were two different trailers for this movie. A nice trailer and a naughty trailer. And unsurprisingly, the naughty trailer ended up getting three times as many views as the quote-unquote nice trailer. Probably because it had a bunch of stuff in there that was more intriguing and therefore got more people to see it in the theater. I would show you clips of the trailer, but I don't really want to risk this video getting age-restricted. But don't worry, you can find that trailer, it's on YouTube. But there's one other thing I want to talk about, and personally I think this is what contributes to its box office success the most. The fact that this unrated movie got a wide release. You want to know how rare that is? I would say an unrated movie getting a wide release is even rarer than a Lunchly that doesn't have mold in it. So, how exactly did Terrifier 3 get a wide release? Well, in June of last year, it was able to acquire a distributor in the form of Cineverse, meaning it was going to be able to get a wide release, and thus why Terrifier 2 did not. So, if it wasn't for the help of Cineverse, I personally don't think Terrifier 3 would really be at the stature that it is right now. Oh, and of course, the very loyal fan base it has. I mean, you've probably seen stories of kids buying tickets for other movies just so they can go ahead and sneak in and see this movie, which honestly I think is pretty f***ing funny, but it also means that those kids probably have some shitty parents. I mean, I don't really care, they're not my kids after all, but 50 million dollars, man. I mean, there are literally PG-13 movies that have made way less than that, including some that have literally come out this year. Do you guys remember that movie Lisa Frank? Frankenstein? I mean, think about it. It was a movie obviously meant for a wider audience, and it had some pretty big stars in it. So you would have expected this movie to make a bunch of money at the box office, right? Well, that wasn't the case, because this movie only made like 10 million dollars. Another example, the movie Abigail. It's made by the guys who made the last two Scream movies, and it stars a bunch of likable actors. Well, it only made 42 million dollars. And while that might sound decent, the movie had a budget of 28 million dollars, meaning this movie didn't make enough to break even, which is stupid because this movie is f***ing great. I mean, honestly, it's probably my favorite horror movie of the year so far, but I guess sometimes chicken, sometimes feathers, right? Damn, this has not been a good year for Catherine Newton, huh? So, am I happy that Terrifier 3 made box office history? Of course I'm f***ing happy it made this much money. Now, Granted, the Terrifier franchise isn't exactly my favorite horror movie franchise, but to be seeing the success it's earning right now really makes me happy for the horror genre as a whole. I think it's been a great year for indie horror movies in general. Now, I didn't really care for that movie Long Legs, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that because a lot of people really seem to like that movie, but hey, welcome to the internet, ladies and gentlemen. But even though I didn't really like that movie, I still can't help but respect the fact that it made over a hundred million dollars at the box office. That is quite the achievement for an indie horror movie. And it's awesome to see that trend continuing with Terrifier 3. I mean, who knows, maybe Terrifier 3 will make a hundred million dollars at the box office. I highly doubt it, but hey, a guy can dream, right? But yeah guys, I think it's officially safe to say that Terrifier is now the new king of horror.
And who knows, maybe when Terrifier 4 comes out, it'll probably break its own record. I mean, I can already guarantee you that's gonna happen. So what are your guys' thoughts about Terrifier 3 making box office history? Like I said, I think this is an incredible accomplishment, and I think Damien Leone and his team should be incredibly proud about this. I know some people are probably gonna disagree about this, but... Hey, that's just how it is, man. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel because it would really help me out. I'll put out this shameless plug one last time, but I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, and every day we're getting inches and inches closer. So it would be awesome if you could help me out. But hey, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You'll probably get a horrible curse if you don't. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween, and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.